Yummy, 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 yummy. Put that right down right there. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. It's good for you, too. Good boy. Good boy. Glucosamine. I've got my own vitamins to take as well. Doctor's orders. Vitamin B12 and zinc. Apparently, I was a little low on them when they did their tests last month. Those are for me, Diesel. Those are for me. You already had your vitamins. What's up, everybody? Another new day is here. We're uh, making our way towards Calgary, putt putting away, saving some fuel. We're doing good. Doing some farming on the side here. Why aren't you zooming out? I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? So today will be, uh, well, I want to stop at Walmart, pick a few things up. I want to stop and get the truck washed in Fargo, the Blue Beacon. Hopefully the lineup isn't too long there. And then I'm probably thinking we'll probably make it up to like Minot, North Dakota or something tonight. I think we'll, I think that'll be a good spot to make it to. I mean, that'll be a, maybe not quite that far, but I really don't need to make it that far. We have lots of time to get to Calgary. Not in that big of a rush. It's really nice to be a little more stress-free. A little bit more time to get to my destination. It's felt good. I wouldn't want to go this slow all the time. I wouldn't make any money that way, but once in a while, it's a nice break. Walmart! Filled up my fridge. The weasel got his treats. And I got some garbage, don't worry. I went to Walmart, you can't go to Walmart and not pick up any garbage. Coke Zero. Uh, cancer in a can. I got a bunch of fresh fruit as well, which we have to remember to eat before we cross the border tomorrow can't take fresh fruits across the border because they have the fruit police. They're the fruit Nazis. They don't let us move fruit. <laughs> it's a restricted thing. I don't know why. Well, I know why. They, obviously, they don't want to, uh, you know, bring any problems with the fruit, let's say, into Canada or vice versa. They sort of want to localize it. That's why we have borders, right? To restrict movement of people, of products, just so that if something, let's say, does happen and people start getting sick from the fruits down here in the US, that that sickness doesn't pass as easily into Canada, into the next country or vice versa. So no fresh meats, no fresh fruits or raw meats, sorry, no raw meats, no fresh fruit, stuff like that can cross the border with you. You always got to uh, gobble it down before you get there. It can cross the border if it's in your belly. That's the exception. Oh, and Diesel got new food bowls because the other ones were getting pretty gross already. And because he's a good boy. I like that right, man. The Lord, Lord of all the weasels and the woozles. Look at that pose. That is a very lordly pose. Thank you, I've been practicing. Diesel, lord of all weasels. And the woozles, man. Don't forget them.
it is time. Time for a bath. What do you think, Diesel? Oh, I love bubble baths, man. They're the best. We can't eat bubble baths? <laughs> the truck is. This truck is dirty. That's right. Time for a truck wash. This thing is absolutely filthy. Let's actually shut it off while I'm waiting here. One truck in front of me in either line, so I'm not sure which one's gonna be done first, but whichever one it is, we'll take that line. I'm just gonna get the truck and engine washed today. I'm not gonna bother washing the trailer. That's only for special occasions. It's not my trailer, so I do wash them. It does need to be washed, but... Meh, I'm not gonna hold on to it very much longer anyways. After Calgary, I'm probably... Actually, you know what? I might be holding on to this trailer a little longer than that. Maybe I should get it washed. You know, nobody washes the trailers, right? Because nobody cares. Nobody, everybody just washes their trucks, but nobody washes the trailers. Every once in a while, when I'm in a good spot to do it, I like to wash them. Then at least I have a whole nice clean unit. But I only do that if I'm going to be holding on to that trailer for a while. Sometimes I drop that trailer. We call it a drop and hook. Sometimes I, I, I grab that trailer and I drop it somewhere, grab a different trailer. Bring that trailer, drop it there, grab a different trailer. When I'm constantly switching trailers, why would I spend my money into washing a trailer that I'm only going to have behind me for a day, right? I'll be dropping this load off in Calgary and then picking up another load, probably going back down to the Midwest or the U.S. So I might be, it might be worth it for me to wash it. I mean, it's that season of year, it's going to get dirty right away again anyways. But uh, for my truck anyways, I want to get the salt off the frame and stuff. Oh, it looks like we can move forward here. This guy's going in. Oh, it's so nice to have proper power going to my bat, coming from my batteries. Let's roll it forward. Nice Kenworth right here. Very nice, very nice. We don't have to wait long, at least. Not many people washing their trucks when the weather's like this. Get a nice rinse here. We'll be out of here. Got the rain -X. You can see it all beating off the windshield so nicely. Just did the truck. I didn't bother with the trailer. Rain-X on the windshield, it always messes with the wipers. And the wipers don't wipe as good. It's sort of smeared around more. Uh. So we're here in uh, Carrington, North Dakota. I'm going to stop here for the night. It's 8 o'clock, or quarter after 8 already. This is uh, just down the road, or just down the street here, past the Chieftain Motel. That's where our our friend is waving at us again. Let's all wave back. I'll find a parking spot at the truck stop over the bridge. There he is on the right. Everybody wave. How's it going, Chief? At the roundabout, take the third exit of one kilometer. Did you wave, Karen? There a parking spot for Trucker Josh here? Continue on this road for 21 kilometers. No, Karen. Why is this guy parked? That's not a parking spot, my friend. Oh, I just cleaned my truck. It's gonna get so dirty here. Uh, maybe if we just go slow enough, maybe just the wheels will get dirty. in beside these guys over here. Woo! Oh. See if I can find a spot. I guess there's a spot right in here. I'm right beside a reefer. I prefer not to park beside a reefer if I have a choice. We'll find a spot and I'll catch up with you guys then. 
And I guess this is it. This is the end of the day, end of the line. We're gonna enjoy a nice long night here. Get some good rest. Clean this place up. And we'll be on our way tomorrow. We'll stop in Minot tomorrow morning to shower. Uh, it's just a little ways down the road. We didn't quite make it there. That's where I wanted to make it to tonight, but we stopped quite a bit. I stopped at Walmart to get groceries. That took an hour. Stopped to get the truck washed. That was only about a half hour. And I was going pretty slow today, so uh, tomorrow we'll pick up the pace a little bit, get a little bit further. And uh, we still got two days, and we only have 1,300 kilometers to go. So that's 13 hours of driving, and I've got two days to do that in, so we shouldn't have a problem. Thanks for joining me today, though. If you like my videos, you can say so by hitting that thumbs up button. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down button. One of the two. You only got two options. Go for it. I'll wait. Tomorrow there will be another video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button and turn on all notifications so you know when it goes live. You can be the first to watch it. I challenge you to be the first to leave a comment. I've never done this before. You guys have always sort of taken on this challenge on your own, but now I challenge each and every one of you. Who will be the first one to leave the first comment on my video? We'll find out tomorrow. The suspense. Will it be you? Will it be me? I don't know, you're gonna have to be pretty quick to beat me. <laughs>